Good morning. It is a little hot in here. It's actually only like one degrees, but um, yeah. So, whew, I know I look a little rough. Um, I didn't get much sleep last night. I didn't get to bed till like uh, after 2.30. Izzy came downstairs. Um, you know, she had dislocated her knee, so she hasn't been feeling too well. She couldn't sleep, um, was crying. I gave her some ibuprofen. She wasn't feeling too good. Well, I'm sitting in the parking lot of the school. I think the school's, uh, you can see the school because she's not, she's still not feeling well, but uh, she woke me up at 6.30. Like mom, you know, I, I, I just don't feel too good. She has an appointment on Friday to check on her knee. Um, she's been really careful with it. Um, she's not sleeping very well because of it. So anyway, I'm gonna roll this window down. I'm having a hot flash. So anyway, um, I'm in the parking lot of the school because she could not miss this presentation that she had to have. She has a presentation on third period. So I brought her in. Um, I ran into the grocery store at seven in the morning because I have some really good recipes I'm doing this week. And I think I'm actually gonna start talking my recipes so I can put them here on, on YouTube for you guys. I got some really, really good crock pot recipes this week. I'm gonna do a stir fry tonight, my husband asked. Um, chicken, I'm doing lots of chicken this week. I'm gonna do a whole chicken in a crock pot, never done that before. So anyway, I'm waiting in the car because she has this presentation with her friend Willow that she can't miss. So, um, I'm in the car, it starts at 9.10. She's gonna do the presentation, then she's gonna come back. I'm gonna take her home. Um, I think we might go get breakfast just because it's, you know, just spend some time with together. Anytime I can take advantage of spending with my kids, I do that, you know. But, um, and thank you for those who started following us. We're trying to build a following on YouTube. It's going really slow, but hey, you know, I'm still gonna keep sharing with you guys. Those who follow us get to see like things that really happen in our family, like the full, the full length, right? So anyway, um, I'm a little tired. I know I look tired uh, just because I'm, I'm working on about four hours of sleep. So here's what's kind of going on with our family this week. Um, yesterday we had a good day. I did the bills. I was able to go live a couple times on TikTok. That was pretty cool. Um, so today, Rob, my son Robert's been struggling with migraines. He has an MRI today. So I'm just praying that we find answers either way, whether there's something wrong or maybe there is nothing wrong and we know how to address it. Um, he actually had to see an ART specialist yesterday because of his headache was so bad, because his headache was so bad. And I guess she really did help him. And so um, tomorrow, Brennan has an MRI. He um, had surgery earlier this year for his foot. Well, because he his foot has been hurt for so long, um, his other good foot now is hurting because it had to take the weight and do everything because he was in a boot and he just couldn't walk on it. So he's at MRI on that tomorrow to see what's going on with his foot, his good foot. So I'm just praying that um, we'll get answers there. And then um, Friday is Isabella's uh, an appointment for her knees. And they kept saying that if her knee keeps dislocating, they'd have to do surgery. So I'm really praying that they don't have to do surgery, um, that hopefully they can design her some knee braces so when she's active or like, you know, cause it just like, she was just throwing a hay bale up and she slipped is the problem. So anytime she's doing any kind of activity, then she can wear these knee braces. David used to have the same problem too. When he was younger, he, his knees would dislocate and he could actually pop it back in and move on. Isabella has a really low threshold to pain. So she, things that might not hurt so bad to her really, really hurt. Cause she just has, doesn't have a high tolerance to pain. So anyway, I'm just waiting for her today. Um, Haley's got to deliver eggs. My husband's home. It's really cold, like really, really cold. It's been cold for about five days. So that's kind of what's going on with our um, our week this week. I'm going to make lots of food that's kind of warming to the soul. Um, some crock pot a meal soup, a pulled chicken recipe. It's like a Hawaiian pulled chicken recipe. I'm going to do um, just lots of chicken. We've all been dieting. Haley's lost almost five pounds. I'm so proud of her. Um, Gideon's lost like 20 something. I am down three and a half pounds. I'm pretty excited. Um, I do get these like little cravings. I did have a couple tablespoons of my Nerdy Nuts peanut butter because it was the new kitchen sink when it had pretzels and chocolate chips and potato chips and oh, it was so amazing. So if you've never tried Nerdy Nuts, they have these unique peanut butters. They're so cool. And if you go on nerdynuts.com and you put just the Bells 10 in, you actually can get 10% off your purchase. And every month they have a new flavor. Then they bring out old favorites, but they're really good. Um, I like to put them on like when I bake brownies, I'll stick them on top of the brownies. Or you can um, 
put it in a mixer to kind of break it up a little bit and you can do it as a spread or you could just put it on peanut butter or just eat it out of the jar. That's kind of what I do. So, um, yeah. And I think, um, I got something super cool I'm going to do on Saturday. Oh, darn it. I forgot to get the biscuits. So on Saturday, I'm going to make a biscuits and gravy fondue where you put the biscuits and gravy sauce. I'll have to make it kind of thin. You put it in a fondue thing and it kind of goes through and it, you know, does like a regular fondue. And I'm going to have, um, I think I'm just going to do Graham's biscuits. And, um, and then I think I'll probably do like a little plate of, um, I don't know, maybe it, it'll be called a fondue, a fondue cuterie. I did a, I did a biscuits and gravy fondue cuterie. So I'll do that. I think probably Saturday or Sunday. Sundays are usually our, fond, our charcuterie type things. So I'm going to do a biscuits and gravy fondue. I thought that'd be super cool. He sent me a picture. He's like, mom, you got to do this. I'm like, okay, fine. And the kid loves biscuits and gravy. So I think I'm going to do that. And I'll probably put like, I'll have some sausage and bacon, you know, so people can put them with the sides. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that either Saturday or Sunday. Um, I'll probably do it. I'd have to have everything made up because Sunday after church, when we get home, my kids are so hungry. So I'm going to do that one of the days. I'm not really sure, but we're going to do that. Um, excuse me. We went to Big B, so I don't usually drink coffee from other places. I usually drink my own coffee in the morning, but I didn't get to. And then um, I'm actually scheduling Gideon's senior trip. We're going to be going to Jensen Beach, Florida. He wants to go fishing, so I'm going to get that all booked today. And then I think we're going to be going to Sanibel Island for spring break in March. So I have to get that book soon too. Um, so a lot of fun things are going to be happening. Gideon graduates in June. And then I think after, and then we have a wedding to go to. Then after Father's Day, we're going to be going down to um, like Virginia Beach, Myrtle Beach. We're going to kind of go that area, maybe hit Maryland. I have a couple people I know that um, lives in Maryland that I'd like to just kind of meet um, and then maybe come back through Tennessee. I'm not really sure, but so we have a lot of things fun, a lot of fun things planned, a lot of really cool things like different charcuterie, cuterie type things that um, I, when I go on my lives for TikTok, the women just give me the best ideas. And so I have somebody, at, I have two like TikTok live secretaries. I love them so much. So, um, so anyway, just be praying for my family this week. We got a lot going on. Um, we've been really trying to be health conscious just to keep the sickness out of our homes. We've been doing apple cider vinegar in our water. We've been taking vitamins, increasing our vitamin C. I've been making less like, um, less like gravy, buttery. I've been trying to make more healthy stuff. So that's why I'm going to make the stir fry today. I think I'm going to do like a chicken peanut, peanut chicken stir fry. Um, and I got like rice noodles and stuff just to kind of make it a little more healthier. Um, so yeah, so Pray for our family. Um, make sure you follow us on Instagram, just the bells ten. Tell your friends to follow us on YouTube. We're really, really trying to build this page. Um, we recently just started a a page um, on foster care, just the bells ten on on the foster care. That doesn't make no sense. Um, on Facebook, we're trying to build that too. I think we got like thirty thousand followers, which is pretty cool. And then um, I am gonna get going on our foster care license. My husband's a little hesitant. But I would really, really like to get back into it. There's three children that they're trying to place together that um, they have the last name Bell. I know I, I know. sometimes you're probably thinking, Heather, you've already said that. Yeah, I know. I forget what I tell you guys. So that's what's going on Tuesday, January. I don't really know what day it is today. Um, Izzy should be popping out here soon. So I'm going to let you guys go. But um, have a great day and I'll be on here. Let's see, today's Tuesday. I could probably get on tomorrow. I know I'm trying to do like these daily vlogs. But I just, life gets so busy and um, I'll try and be more faithful, you guys. But thank you so much for your support and like all our social media um, accounts. Like I'm really very thankful for it. And I appreciate every single person. I try to comment back. Uh, I'm not very good on Instagram. Instagram doesn't make it very easy to com like to respond to comments. I even tried to do it on my computer and it's just not that the easiest to do. Like TikTok is so easy. You can see like several comments at once. But I guess I better go. I just kind of blab and I'm almost at 10 minutes. So um, have a great Tuesday and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.